it's totally wrong when um, liars, manipulators can get error on someone, which would be called, in my opinion, an innocent victim, because they can't. So I have to pray, and I don't do that, and I don't, there's a lot wrong with the church. First off, I think earth is hell, because evil reigns here, and you know, like time and time again, like, I couldn't even, there's a YouTube video on East Palestine. These people are still alive, February 3rd, February so I actually care about people. February, March, April, May. Okay, it's almost three months after that disaster. Okay, I actually am feel like crying because they have a big, huge blood. Um, talk about the animal um, drug. That, that people willingly take because they what they want their heroin so they put an animal tranquilizer in it and it's called trank okay that's flesh eating because they hate themselves and they want to feel good with the heroin but the animal trank the the animal tranquilizer is in it so then that's that's what's eating their flesh well, East Palestine right now, it wasn't their decision to have this eating their flesh. So this is like, you know, heartbreaking to see blood sores on their, on a, I guess it was a guy's face. Like, look what's happening at East Palestine now. Yeah, I thought maybe they'd die by now. I mean, that's really horrific of the chemicals that that were there and then they had a uh, cover up um uh, they tried to cover they tried to make it look like it's not as bad so they had this one um little tiny town where there was explosions of chemicals and oh they're still living for 40 years yeah because it was a tiny amount of chemicals that exploded okay now you know i mean You get somewhat sick, but the people from East Palestine surprisingly are still alive, some of them. And, you know, just to see big, huge blood holes, you know, so it's like eating flesh, just like the, the drug trank. But they, I mean, but those people willingly do that, but obviously they hate themselves. Like, just help them out, but... God, the East Palestine people, you know what? People should have opened their homes. To, but then they're, okay, the problem is they are, um, they are infected. So, what you don't want to open your home, so just let them live in the garage. So all the people that have garages... All the multi-millionaires, I, I see, you know, there's too many of them that are, are living comfortably. Yeah, you have a fucking garage. All right, put, ship the people, like, the first week of the East Palestine, ship them out there where you are in your garage. Help them out. So, Whatever. Uh, but mm, people don't do that. And that's sad to see, you know, I mean, I, I am interested maybe in watching that East Palestine video, but there's so, thousands and thousands of videos to watch. I don't even, you know, I mean, like, after watching an hour, I get tired and I just watch the same old ones and it's just, um... Okay, but my heart goes out to East Palestine. That's my main point of, of, of seeing a video. Uh, I was going to pray.
Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you can't do anything about meanies in this world. Once they do the damage, then that's it. And it's very, very sad. All right, so I'm just going to pray, right? So that, okay. I should pray every day because it does something for me. And that doesn't do anything for, like, most people. But because it does something for me and I actually believe that Jesus is God, it does something for me. It kept me sane. Like, I might go insane over just East Palestine alone. You know? Those people are helpless victims. Right? I, I Obviously. You know. Um, now, you can blame the Trank people in L.A. You can blame them. Well, look what the hell you're doing. You know? Go... It's better for you to go in the damn rehab, isn't it? So you're flesh being eaten off of you, but maybe they'd be afraid of, they'd be afraid of them in the rehab. I don't know how to deal with this drug. I don't want anybody else to be infected. They need their own showers and shit, because then we're, if we infect this flesh eating shit on other people, then it's our fault. And we can't have that. We have to have their, we have to have, like, we just can't <laughs> so the rehabs that's pretty sad the rehabs might not accept the trank people because of that because of that reason that very reason it's like, well we can't have them in our facility they're flesh eating now just like you're like the East Palestine people are flesh eating stuff on their face. No, you can't come in my house. I'll just let my garage get ruined and we'll we'll put food out in the middle of our yard. And if you can come walk and try to get the food in the water, okay, that's all we can do for you. And uh, the pit, oh God, we don't even know what the hell to do. I bought a porta potty for you <laughs> to put beside the garage. And I, I just don't want to touch you or anything. He's Palestine people. Trump people, you stay in the garage. You are the modern day lepers. Stay away from me. <laughs> so, this is a prayer that uh, keeps me sane. Okay. Um,. And it doesn't mean too much to a lot of people. And unfortunately, a lot of people might be fake Jesus people. You know, they're not. They don't. Okay, just because a person is like a parakeet and they they mimic like the Kenneth Copeland people that I can't cope with. Like, you don't see that he's seating himself. <laughs> like, um, they just mimic Yes, I believe Jesus is Lord. I accepted Jesus as Lord as my Savior. They don't mean it. That's the whole thing. And uh, Richard Leonzo Jr. has a great testimony, but he speaks in tongues. So, okay, I would say easily that he's saved or... What, Marcus uh, Rogers is saved, but Marcus Rogers uh, will not drink Starbucks coffee because it has a mermaid on it, and the mermaid's evil. And Richard Lorenzo go and says, oh, well, he's a baby Christian, I think. I think that's pretty sure. It was him that said that. You know, don't... You know, yeah, like, you know, you have to consider all situations. Well, evil's all around you. Well, you know, uh, I'm going to drink my Starbucks with, with the little whatever. I, you know, the image doesn't affect me. Okay. But, um, yeah, there's just too much. And, wow. Um, the GMO, you don't want to eat that. Like, like, that would be, like, worse scenario. Or, 
the meat that's injected. I don't even want to eat meat anymore. Like, you know, I... God, I had a can of beef, government beef, and I was just hungry, and I didn't want to go out, and I just ate it. No! That's my last... <laughs> my only can of beef. God, so I... Shit. I should have kept it, because I did have uh, beef jerky, but my, you know, um, that, that beef from a can, that government can beef, oh my god, I had one can of that, and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna eat it, I love it, oh my god, oh well, that's why I'm healthy, I ate healthy beef, I don't know about the rest, but I have beef jerky, um, I have a bag of that, that's, uh, in, um, uh, hot sauce from market, so that's safe. About it, you know. I, I I'm not gonna trust any meat from the store. I mean, I'm really, God, if I if I could buy grass fed, uh, beef in the market, I don't care how fucking expensive it is. You know, I, I want to win the lottery. I can't, you know, like God. Okay, went off course. Didn't even pray. Okay, this is my prayer that kept me sane. Uh, Dear Lord Heavenly Father, please, um. Dear Lord, Heavenly, Almighty, Father, to me, please take away all negativity, any, um, anything that, um, is being worked against me, any negativity, and replace that with your peace that passes all understanding by the precious, pure, powerful, sacred blood of Jesus, who is the Son of God. Who conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms. And we hope that that happens. Because there's too much wickedness down on this planet. There's just way too much wickedness. Way, way too much. There. Um, and with that prayer that I just prayed. I hope that I get. An apology today. I really do. It's not like that might not happen, but I that's what I want. I want the best. You know, loving is the best. So, you know, I don't want to cause any problems. Just, hey, I deserve an apology. I really do. And I don't have to say why. Uh, but yeah um people shouldn't be just because you can take advantage of a person you just, you just shouldn't that's me don't be a meanie there's uh, Heavenly father please um take away all the negativity and all the any meanies in my life like my worst abuser that i talked to this morning and take away all of his lies. I mean, I told him what he said to me uh, three months ago or something. No, I never told you to do that. I never, ever said that. Go get what's yours. I never, that never came out of my mouth. I mean, it, it's useless. It's like, yeah, you, don't even, you can't even admit to something that you said. So I had to record everything that like, it's useless. I'm not going to record you. You know, you know, that's a waste of time. Yeah. Why would I want to... I wasted most of my life on, on bullshit. You know, why prove that somebody's an asshole? You know, you said this. No, I did not. There you go again. No, you, he always treated me the worst. Because he could. And he did. And even now... Uh, we were separated approximately for about a year. I mean, like, you know, distant. Um, he's still an asshole to me. Saying I made, made everything up that I said about him. I didn't make one thing up. Not one. Oh, God, it's too long. So, yeah. The prayer that kept me sane from him 
is dearest lord heavenly father please take away my worst abusers um master of manipulation man manipulating lies and replace that with your peace that passes all understanding by the precious, pure, powerful, sacred blood of Jesus, the Son of God, that conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms. Now, when I say that prayer, it gives me peace. So what's wrong with me not saying that prayer every single day? And the, the poor people that are homeless, and I feel very, very sorry for, I can't do it. I think for them, but I actually could pray, which they probably don't even believe in my prayer, but you know, so much, so little bit. <laughs> like, um, it's a good thought. So actually they wouldn't care. Even if they would be against me talking about Jesus. It, it, it's my good intention towards them to have the best for them. So they, they wouldn't care. The homeless wouldn't care if I pray for them or not. It's just too sad. All right, this is too long of a video. All right, and I was really supposed to pray. I, okay, whatever. All right, the main thing with this video, uh, yeah, I, my heart went out to the East Palestine video. Uh, those people are still living and they didn't even take the flesh eating drug trank and uh, you know I mean well these people need help too I and mean, why why put them down like ask the trank people well, what, why you hate yourself so much you know and help them out but there there's barely any help in this world so like, shit Hey man, hey Trek people, hey East Palestine people, are you in that much pain? Are you suffering that much? Your your flesh eating looks pretty bad. Do you wanna end it? You wanna go in the gas chamber? Yeah, you do you wanna die in, in a couple seconds? I mean, you know we can't really help you out more than beyond that. So sorry that your body went to hell, and uh, we can't do anything, but end your life I like what else are you gonna do I, I you know it's sad it's too sad and yeah you you can have a disease that's way too far gone that there's no way that you could help out the person to build their body up to uh, be able to be good again because they're just the body's just way too far gone for that. I wouldn't know how that would be, would be possible. Yeah.